Here's an example that has a small sample size. Eight students from Geog 3020, that's a class, were sampled to determine if the IQ of students in this class was higher than the university average of 115. The mean IQ of the eight students was 120, with a standard deviation of 10. Are we sure that the class IQ is higher than the university average at the 99%, at the 90% confidence level? So in this case, the average IQ from the sample was 120. The sample size was just 8. And the standard deviation was 10. The confidence level was 90%, so the significance is going to be 0.1, 10%. And let's just do a shortcut. The standard error of the mean is s over root n which equals 10 divided by root 8, 3.54. OK. The null hypothesis is that mu equals 115, the average at the university. The alternative is that mu is greater than 115, that the average in this class, mu, has, a, has an IQ above 115. Two, this is going to be a t-test, since n is less than 30. And three, we already know the significance equals 10%. Four, let's draw it out. So it's a right tail test. The z-crit is going to be such that there's 10% to the right. That means we have to use the 80% level of confidence, because that's going to put 10 on each side. Here we have um, a sample size of 8, so we're going to use 7 degrees of freedom, n minus 1, 1 1.41. And I should say that we use a t-test with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So we said this value over here was t equals 1.41. Now let's calculate our test. T equals mu, oh, I'm sorry, x bar minus mu over the standard error of the mean. So we had 120 minus 115 over standard error was 3.54. Wow, so this was a really close call. <laughs> the critical value was 1.41, and our t-score is 1.412. So our t-score is just past the zone, just past the critical value, which means we are going to have to reject the null hypothesis. So reject the null, and probably average IQ in the class is greater than 115.